Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So this is another one of those videos in my sort of series, why I love, why I like, why I hate, whatever. This time, we are going to be looking at the T25 Pilot. And this video is called, Why I Neither Like or Dislike of the Pilot. I don't love it and I don't hate it. But this tank gets a bad reputation. I mean, it truly gets a bad reputation. Most of the people out there hate this tank. Most of the people out there think this is probably one of the worst tanks that's ever graced the game. And that got me thinking, why? I mean, okay, it's penetration, as you can see there, sucks a little bit. But the thing is, the tank actually isn't that bad. Not really. And it's one of those tanks that it's very situational, okay? You can't stick this tank on the front line because you're going to get deleted. And I think that's where a lot of people may be going wrong. I think you can actually have fun in this tank. You've just got to play it cautiously. You've got to give it some tender loving care. You can't YOLO in this thing. You can't put this thing on the front line until the right moment. It is a situational type of tank. And okay, I've not dished out much damage here because I bounced quite a few shots um, because the penetration does, isn't the best part of this tank. But as you'll see in a moment, I mean, mobility is okay. But one thing that is really okay on it is that gun depression because like most American tanks, it does have a pretty solid mantle and pretty decent gun depression. And that should be telling everybody out there something. And what it should be telling you all is that this thing is a defensive monster. It likes to sit behind things like sand dunes and little dips and bumps and rises. And it likes to peek a boom. It likes to pop out and put a shot into you and then go back again so you can't shoot it. And that's exactly how I'm playing it in this game. I am just gonna sit here behind these little sand dunes best I can and I'm going to just farm that's what I'm gonna do now okay it also helps if your enemy team doesn't like to rush you because <laughs> they don't but I expected the two panthers to sort of have a bit of a rush attack but they didn't and that suits me down to the ground but this is what I'm saying about the pilot it's a very situational tank it's got a pretty decent turn of speed so if those panthers did rush me I would be able to hightail it out of dodge and I think a lot of the reason why people hate on this tank, pretty much like the turtle, is because they play it in the wrong position or they play it too aggressively. And you can't play this tank aggressively. You've got to pick the right time in the right moment. And as you can see, all I'm doing is trying to get that gun depression. And once I've got it, once I've got the gun loaded up and aimed, I'm not struggling with the penetration in certain instances. And that's why I like the T25 Pilot because it really isn't as bad as everybody makes out. I'm not saying it's the best tank, it clearly isn't, but it's actually not the worst. I neither love it nor hate it. I am pretty much indifferent to it. It can be fun, and it's certainly not as bad as everybody says. Anyway, I've been Fujit, that's been the T25 Pilot. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.